Would you survive 100 days of the most difficult mode in Zelda Breath of the Wild? Even more difficult than the Master Mode, literally everywhere are Guardians and Lynels. In addition, there also are insanely strong custom mobs which you would never see in the normal game. I attempted it and on day one I spawned in the Colosseum. This could end pretty fast and I have absolutely nothing in my inventory. Nothing. There should normally be a Lynel behind me. Oh no, two got Two Lynels? What the? I don't even have a weapon. I can't fight. Whoa! I have to leave fast, really fast. <laughs> Barely made it out. And so I was able to escape to the nearest table and deal with the important questions of life. How do I find a fast way to get around, ideally with four legs? Where do I get a solid roof over my head? How do I get strong weapons and armor to defeat all the overpowered enemies? It didn't take long to find the first answer. Ah, horses! Alright, I'll just take one and make a lasagna out of it. Just kidding. It would probably be better to just ride it. Whoopa! From now on, you shall be called Raymond. Now, with my new acquired transportation system, I could finally search the world for useful weapons as I liked. But I didn't know what I would have to face. What? Guardians already? There are enemies everywhere and they are so strong. I think I better go to Kakariko village first. The enemies on my way from which I could get good weapons were either much too strong, yo what's a silver one doing here, or way too many. The whole lake is full of Lizalfos. I think I only have one chance to get weapons and for that I have to wait until night time. I had a plan and wanted to get some loot before arriving at the dueling peak stable. Okay my plan is why the Bokos are Sleeping, to sneak up and steal everything they have. Hopefully none of them wakes up, but of course, oh, they woke up, but I have everything I want, swords, shields. With the first equipment in my pocket, I could finally register Raymond at the stable. The rest of the way to Kakariko village went pretty well, except for this guy here. Who are you? A dark Yiga guy? Oh yeah, you also have an ice attack. Oh, I'm good, thanks. That's still a bit too heavy. Welcome to Kakariko. And from the money I have so far, I'll buy myself an armor. And I wasn't even able to pick up a heart container, because in relics of the past, you only need two spirit orbs for that, which I already had collected on the way there. After that, I made a short trip to the fairy fountain. Oh, fairies! These are so important later. And I was right, because my next destination led me over the mountains to the Ranel Road, which looks a bit different than normal. Since when is there a guard? Since when are 10 million guardians everywhere here? I can't move without being angered. What the? Perfect, the first fairy already gone. Somehow I was able to take out the small obstacles and hide behind a pillar for a moment. Okay, I need a plan. As soon as I walk out of here, I'm pretty much dead. I have to climb right back up and then that's where the fun begins. Okay, let's go. That was easier than I thought it would be. Almost all of them are dead now. Now I can get to my real target, which is this shrine here behind the waterfall. Uh, how do I get... All entrances are blocked. Was this the same in the main game? Ah. Yes, I had done everything in vain, taken all these trains on me to not get to the shrine in the end. Well, head up and move on. In case you haven't noticed, yes, I'm heading towards Hateno Village right now. I hear the real estate prices there are still quite acceptable. 3000? Why didn't I remember that you need 3000 rupees? Bro, oh, how am I supposed to get these? The fastest money in the game are gems. Colorful, shining stones with great value, but they are also very hard to get. One way is to defeat Telesis. Oh yes, another one. However, I also needed wood. A lot of wood. Ooh, yeah, here I should easily get all my 30 bundles. But again, there are mobs everywhere. And in the morning, a lot more will spawn. Even stronger ones. Oh no, oh no. They have ancient weapons, of course they have. The situation was getting out of hand, but I already had most of the bundles I needed, so I just left. Why not? Two more and that should be enough. To my new house. Take it and leave, and never come back. Oh, you don't wanna go? You'll keep sitting here. Okay, anyway, this is my new home. It's really not that spectacular. But I finally had it. I couldn't have been happier. Until the next day when I heard someone cry for help in the nearby forest. A villager was being attacked by Bokos. My friend, you are free. My name is Meddo. Thank you. Subscribe to Linko. Because he is my hero. Meadow was saved and life in Ateno village was more relaxed than ever. I already felt really at home on the local hills and fields and in the evening, Meadow even invited me to his home. Meadow, I'm here. Meadow? Oh, wrong house. This is the right one. The feast went on late into the night and at a late hour, both already a bit tired, he said, My dream is to explore the world. See the master sword, don't you? 
and made Jacob Paul in person. Finally, I knew the real meadow. Not only a meadow with very questionable taste and YouTubers, but also the lonely farmer who wants to go on an adventure. Great, now I can't sleep. I couldn't get the poor neighbor off my mind, so I made a decision. Come on, meadow, let's go on an adventure. You wanted the master sword, so you'll get it. Easier said than done, we need at least 13 hearts to draw the sword. That means I still need 12 spirit orbs, which I will get in shrines all over the map. The only thing is, there are a few special obstacles along the way. I know that there is something but I have no idea what. Luckily though, on the way to Zora's domain, our first stop, we don't have any challenges at all yet. Uh, maybe I was wrong about that. Oh no! You you better stay away from me my friend. I'm not that well equipped yet. We are getting very close to Zora's domain. Now how do you like your first trip Meadow? My name is Meadow. Is Jack Poliar? Better get this over with quickly, the first shrine is done, only 11 more to go. No big deal, despite the sneak attack on an enemy camp at the next shrine going a bit wrong. How many are coming after me right now? Way too many. No problem for me though. <gasps> what? The Hylian shield? Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Akala, I've hit the mod, changed some things here too. Another random guardian, of course. No problem anymore though. Yes, in the meantime, I had defeated a ton of guardians and therefore got a lot of ancient stuff. My plan was to give my armor a small but nice upgrade at the Akala Institute, if there only wasn't a problem. Ah, true, I have to get the blue fire here first. Wait, who are you? Red Moblins. They, I'm sure they never existed in the original game. Uh, they have to be way too strong. Somehow, I had to carry the torch around this bunch of special moblins. No, back up. I'm not here. That's a Fata Morgana, trust me, bro. Easy. It's time for a little shopping tour. Ancient helmet, leggings, and armor were secured. Yes. Wait, what is that? Even stronger ancient weapons? I need them. I don't care what it costs. Okay, they cost a lot, but eventually we'll have it together. We have to. Until then, however, next shrine on Death Mountain. Great. But first I wanted to test how strong the moblins really are. He doesn't get any damage at all. How overpowered are these? Ah, that's just a waste of durability. Further west on Death Mountain, the next surprise awaited me right away. Guardians everywhere. It's already hot enough here on the mountain. Thank god I still have a fire function. Hope it's enough, I don't have much time. Only six minutes. <laughs> And off to the shrine. After this I can just teleport away and I probably have to. In fact, I actually had enough time to grab three new heart containers in the village afterwards, so only four were remaining. And the next one was behind the hardest challenge of the 100 days so far. Okay, I know that there is an extra challenge waiting for me here in the Forgotten Temple. I honestly have no idea how they are going to make this even harder. Well, I see a few guardians, but it's still pretty quiet. And now they wake up. Good morning. What the? What? How many? What? No, 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 not with me. The temple was packed with what must have been over 30 guardians all targeting me at once. Yet somehow I had to make it to the end of the temple so I could pick up the spirit orb. I have to think. Maybe my plan could work, but just maybe. Yes, very nice. Now, if I take them all out of one by one, it should somehow work. And yes, the tactic worked amazingly well. One guard after another perished from my parries. Woohoo! Oh my god, I'm through. Wait, what's that lying over there? What What are you? Even more powerful moblins? Weren't they enough in a car already? Yo, how much damage do these things deal? Nice. Just for fun, is there anything I can do against the moblins? I'll give it a try. With a strong weapon, preferably. Quiet. Wow, perfect. That worked great. That was a really bad idea. So bad. I have everything I need anyway. Nevertheless, I had to move on to the next shrine. At least, there was a reunion with an old friend. Raymond! Finally back together. With Raymond by my side, the journey was considerably faster. And I was able to reach and complete the next shrine in no time. <laughs> While we're at it, I might as well make a short trip to Satori Mountain. For those who didn't know, there are tons of useful things for the journey. Hundreds of apples, a dozen hearty durians and that's pretty much all I need. Cooking tutorial. Take one hearty durian and throw it in the pot. Done. Now you have a delightful meal. With full bags, I was off to the next shrine on my journey. Unfortunately, that also marked the end of the ride with Raymond. Because anyone who has ever tried to get a horse up a vertical mountain knows how good the odds are of making it. Have you you always been here? No. Oh wow, there are really a few more enemies here than usual. What the hell is a golden lionel doing here? Don't mind me. 
So this is where the shrine should be. Three Yiga. What's happening? Why does he have an antique chainsaw? Uh, what's going on? I'm finished. I'm really screwed. I approached the temp too much more thoughtfully and actually went out of the battle triumphantly. Nice! Even an ancient chainsaw, which only does 15 damage, what am I supposed to do with that? Okay, next target. Are these all broken? Oh no, they're not. Windbomb, please connect. Yeah. Okay, Meadow, we can't go in, unfortunately, so we'll just take some selfies. And another beautiful day of the challenge was coming to an end. After a bit of sand seal riding, I completed the shrine and went straight back on the long journey. Okay, it wasn't as long. A few wind bumps and I was already at the Highland stable. Raymond! Used to a new one, deep into the jungle. Surprisingly, there wasn't much different here. Only a couple of flying guardians everywhere and a guard in front of the shrine I made afterwards, which of course was no problem for me anymore. Yes, in the meantime, I had become a lot stronger and my arsenal of weapons, bro, I was stacked. Reason enough for me to do a very special thing. Well, I think I'm ready. Oh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Do you see the Lionel back there? I will destroy him. Or rather, I'll try to... Aim him. But first, I had to defeat him. It was a long, nerve-wracking fight and... Uh, who am I kidding here? He didn't stand a chance. And there I had him. My own Lionel. And yes, you can ride him. What? How fast? That's just abnormally fast. That's so sick. My strength was as close to its max as ever. After the last shrine in Lulin Village, I was only missing one more thing to ultimate power. But for now, Meadow and I enjoyed the calm before the big storm on the beach. The next morning, we headed back to the hometown of Ateno Village to finish a few jobs. Let's go, the last spirit orbs are redeemed, and there it is, the 13th heart. With that, I could theoretically draw the Master Sword already, except there's an extremely hard challenge waiting in the Lost Woods before Korok Village. And I can't go into that unprepared. So Meadow said goodbye once again to his field, and then I dragged him straight on to a cal. There was one very special thing I was still missing. It's time for the secret weapons! On my way, I had actually collected enough material that I could afford the three melee weapons. Oh yes, that looks so fancy. Just look at him! With one last armor upgrade, it was done. My strength was at its max. I felt ready to face the ultimate task. Let's go! Perfect, what a great start. This is much harder than I thought. What substance did the creators take? The whole forest was full of top-level enemies. Bokos, Moblins, Lizalpos, Stahl opponents, Guardians and a few more very special ones. You've got to be kidding me. My weapons are breaking like they're nothing. Just like the fairies, what's that? I still have enough of them, but... No bro, that's insane. Why can't he breathe fire? It takes forever to defeat them completely. Okay, finally some progress. Ah, hello Guardian. These are really no problem anymore. The whole forest looks different. A giant Octorok and this one shoots ancient arrows. I can't do this anymore. The Octorok doesn't shoot stones, but bomb barrels? The situation seemed hopeless. A bomb barrel shooting giant Octorok, a much too fast Lazalfos with an ice staff and a silver Lionel. A completely unfair fight. But then I remembered what my master told me back in the day. Give the video a like and win the fight. Exactly the motivation I needed. Miraculously, I was able to withstand all the attacks and bring one opponent after another to his knees. You are gone. Oh my god, I don't know if... I've never had a fight this hard before. And then, it was time. Meadow, what you are looking at is the Master Sword. Believe it or not, I am going to take it now. Oh, oh... It's far! An incredible moment. Even Meadow was stunned. Where is Jackie Polly? No one could contain their euphoria. A truly great moment. We had achieved everything and yet I have one more thing to do. Where it all began, last time I ran, today. 99 days later, I will do exactly the opposite. Guardians eliminated? Now only the two Lionels. Oh my god, what a dodge. Yeah, keep coming. Ooh, numero uno. And you too. <laughs> no, believe me, I'm not crazy. But this challenge here is. Trust me, you want to see it. Just like I want to see the subscription button grayed out. 